this tutorial video I will be showing you how to play music using Excel and a little bit of VBA to get it done. Um, my wife, ha probably jokingly, uh, after I asked if she had any questions on how to do something in Excel, responded with, Mr. VBA, how would one program the Indiana Jones theme song in Excel? Um, she's probably hearkening back to days in high school where we actually built a game together in a computer class and we had the PC speaker playing the Indiana Jones theme song. Unfortunately my current computer does not have a PC speaker so I'm not going to be able to replicate uh, our past success there. But what I can do is go and download the Indiana Jones theme song and have it play through the regular speakers instead of that little beeping PC speaker. So I'm going to show you how to do that. One of the first things you need to do is get a little snippet of code to actually play MIDI files in Excel. So I'm going to search for VBA MIDI. And one of the first things that comes up, play a MIDI file with Excel VBA. This smart fella right here has found a piece of code that you can copy into your macro language and use it to play a MIDI file. So I'm going to go back to Excel. And from here, I'm going to actually press Alt F11. Alt F11. Just like that. Alt F11. And what that's going to do, it's going to put the Visual Basic Editor in front of me. Since I just I have a new workbook, blank, I've never saved it before, once I'm inside of the Visual Basic Editor, I'm going to right-click here on this workbook and choose Insert Module. This creates a code module where I can drop in that code that I previously copied to my clipboard from the website. So I've copied, and now I'm going to paste. And here I've got a piece of code that will allow me to play a MIDI file and stop a MIDI file. But guess what? I still need a MIDI file. So I'm going to go back to my web browser. And I'm going to Google search for Indiana Jones MIDI. From here, there is a website where you can actually download MIDI files. So I'm going to grab Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Right click, save as, and we need to find a place to go ahead and put this. So on my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder called MIDI Test. And go ahead inside of there. I'm just going to drop in this file. I'm going to change the name to be a little bit shorter. Indiana.mid. All right. Now I'm going to go back into Excel, press Alt F11 again to bring up this little editor, and I, if you remember, I placed the MIDI file in the folder on my desktop called MIDI Test. But what I haven't done is save this workbook yet with this piece of code. So I'm going to press Save here, and we're going to go to the desktop, MIDI Test, and make sure you save it as a macro-enabled workbook. That is key. I'm going to call this Indiana Jones Music. So I've now saved the workbook onto my desktop with the name Indiana Jones Music. Now that I've done that, and I know that both the MIDI file and the Excel file are in the same folder, the script is very simple. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create two new what we call subroutines. A subroutine is a, a simple macro or an instruction that you can tell the computer to do to start, stop, something, what have you. So here I'm going to say play music. And I'm going to type call, play MIDI. And then I'm going to type indiana.mid. I know that that is what I need to put there because that was the name of the file uh, that I save in the current directory. I'm then going to copy this little piece of code. And I'm going to create one called stop music. And again, I'm going to call a different subroutine. A call means that I have a little instruction that I want to send down here, and I want to tell that instruction what file I want to play. The person who designed this piece of code designed it in just such a way that all you have to do is say, I want to play a file, and I want to play this name of this file. Down here, they've also made a way for you to stop the music. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that to my clipboard, come up here, and say, for stopping the music, I'm going to call the subroutine stop MIDI, and I'm going to tell it to stop the indiana.mid file. There we go. I've now created the two subroutines that I need to be able to run this music. 
So I'm going to go ahead and close the code module. When you do this, it does not close the Excel file. It just simply closes the developer window. From here, I can go ahead and create a couple buttons to start and stop the music. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click on this little shapes guy. Let's call this one Start Music. I'll create another one called Stop Music. And we'll go ahead and change the style on this guy to a different color. And the last thing I need to do is right click on the button and choose Assign Macro. And sure enough, there are two choices that I can pick from Play Music. That's one of the ones I created. I'm going to assign a macro to this button. Stop music. And now when I click this guy, sure enough, the Indiana Jones theme song is played. If I want to go ahead and stop the music, And that, my friends, is how you can program Excel to play the Indiana Jones theme song. this video stay tuned to you look up that's you look up for more advice and helpful tips on how you can use excel to make your life better including playing indiana jones theme music whenever you need to thanks bye